Today we'll be taking a look at apparently the most useless weapon pack ever. Well, at least that's what the title suggests. I'll admit there's some pretty cool weapons in this pack. Like here we got this little snubby revolver. Or maybe a katana is more your style, which I mean, it is just a reskin of a crowbar, but still pretty cool. And then of course we also have a hundred bucks. What? All that and more is going to be in today's video. Welcome to Strange Mods. I'm feeling better. Temp is down. Let's get in to the video. Let's start with the 38 snub nose. So left click. You'll see the hammer pulls back. And I kid you not, this is as fast as it shoots. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. So the hammer will pull back, but it won't shoot anything because we obviously don't have any ammo. We can obviously reload that. Looks pretty solid. And then right click, you can... Oh, yeah. Be the true man of the Wild West you've always wanted to be. So this pack doesn't seem all that useless until we go to the next one, which is alcohol. You could throw it. Throwing it does do a bit of damage, and it leaves like this weird, like gaseous kind of smoke. I don't really understand it. I guess it's supposed to be like misted alcohol, but I don't really get that. However, the real fun is of course pressing right click, drinking it, and puking on people. Oh god. Yes, this is real. Let's go ahead and see that one more time. Ah, classic. Annabelle, this is of course the shotgun by our boy Father Gregory. If we go to the animal section, because for some reason I guess Father Gregory is a, uh, or Grigori, sorry, is an animal. Yeah, we can see that's the shotgun. The shotgun we've all wanted to use. Be spoken in the graves and spelled in bones and ashes. Okay. The shotgun that we all wanted in Half-Life 2. Okay, man, you speak too much. We can see it's a double-barreled shotgun, at least judging by the way it shoots. Um, you can shoot both rounds together by pressing right-click or just one at a time with left-click. And now we can pick up another Annabelle. Yay. The annoying baby gun. Oh my god, what? So when you press left click, it shoots out a bunch of babies and they bounce around like fish out of water that eventually explode in a giant wailing scream. That eventually explode in this really annoying wailing. Wait, wait, what the fuck? Apparently, if you get too close, you turn into a jumping baby. Huh? I don't even want to know what is going on. I can still hear them. Okay, they eventually turn everything into wailing babies. That's what happened to all the props in this room. Pretty sure they all turn into babies. Right click, seems to be some kind of, uh, it looks like the same weapon the hunter uses. All right, Mr. Grigori. Oh, wow. Um, Jesus, that's strong. <laughs> they keep multiplying. All right, that was a little weird. How much more weird can we get? Well, the exploding banana gnome. Wait, what? Left click. Wait, are those flechettes? Now I'm a Whoa, what? Now I'm a gnome? Yes, this shoots out these flechettes that turn you into a gnome. And then as a gnome, you will then go up into the sky as a rocket and explode into bananas. Okay, all right, wow. This definitely belongs in strange mods. Right click shoots a bunch of flechettes out. Okay, I gotta turn Odessa into a gnome and watch him explode. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity right here. Let's go ahead and see how this works. <laughs> okay. This is peak modding right here. Okay, I take it back. This is anything but useless. Dollar. Oh, yeah. Left click. Uh, I think all I did was give him cash. Well, I gotta say, it's probably the nicest thing I've ever done to Odessa. Right click. Um, wait, what? Okay, this is probably the most useless weapon so far. The Gatlin gun. Oh, yeah. This is just your standard, overpowered, rock-solid heavy weapon. Right click, doesn't do anything. It doesn't need to do anything. It's a goddamn minigun, man. The Gauss SMG. So it pretty much just shoots like the, the Tau cannon or the Gauss rifle from Half-Life. A weapon that I so desperately do miss. Right click is the charge shot. It's pretty much just a reskinned Gauss gun. But hey, it's pretty good at killing Odessa, so you know what? I can't complain. The Golden 357. 
It is literally just... Oh. <laughs> oh okay, never mind. I was going to say it's just a golden version of the revolver, but that is not true. In fact, it not only is gold, it turns things into gold. Best that Odessa has ever looked. Gotta be honest. The incendiary rifle. It is the pulse rifle, and it shoots out a flare. Now, funny thing, this is, I'm pretty sure, what the pulse rifle was supposed to be, which is why it only has, like, one capsule in its chamber. It was supposed to be a flare gun. An overly futuristic, fancy-looking flare gun. Definitely seemed underutilized, so I can see why they changed it. But it's pretty cool to see the original elements of the Half-Life 2 design coming back through these mods. The Car 98. It looks like a sniper rifle of some sort. Definitely is. And I gotta say, it's pretty goddamn accurate. In fact, let's see just how accurate it is. That's Odessa, that little thing. I know, hard to believe, right? Okay, let's see. Uh... And there you have it. Definitely very accurate indeed. Why is there a sniper rifle in this pack? I have no goddamn clue. The Katana. So, I mean, using the crowbar is all nice and dandy, but I think we can all agree that a katana is way better as a melee weapon. Now, how does it actually act differently than the crowbar? Well, um, not by all that much. We can see that left click. It does one shot usually, but it's not that much better than a crowbar. The law. Oh yeah, gotta have a rocket launcher in a pack. It wouldn't be a weapons pack without one. All right, so I spawned a bunch of Odessas there. It's kind of hard to see, but if we actually zoom in, you can see that, uh, yeah, there's there's a, there's a few Odessas over there. You can also see that they are glitching beyond belief because my game is just having a seizure trying to render all this. So let's lay the law down on the ass. See exactly just how powerful this weapon really is. All right. Uh, I mean, we, we killed like one, I think. That's not good enough. Let's go ahead and give it one more shot. All right, there we go. Kick-ass weapon, 10 out of 10. Next up, we have Medical Supply, a strange looking purple liquid that I presume will heal us. Uh, but just to be safe, wait, the Law and the Rocket Launcher use the same ammo? Huh? I mean, it makes sense, the Rocket Launchers, but that's very strange. All right, let's try and throw out some grenades here. See just how effective... Oh, oops. <laughs> Maybe a little too much, uh, grenade. It's all good, though. I'm just vibing. All right, so damaging us a little bit. We're at 59 health now. Let's go ahead and see just how effective this healing medical supply is. Uh, wait, what? Did we... Did we get healed? I, um... Yeah! I, I guess we did. And right-click... Wait, what? I'm so confused. The pulse rifle. Whoa. I have no clue what this is, but this looks really cool. And it pretty much just acts like the modern AR-2. Right click, shoots out what I can presume is a highly concentrated blast of energy. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, uh, yeah, definitely that. And then left click is just your standard fire. Um, wow, this gun seems like really overpowered. The SMG 1000. <laughs> it shoots out SMGs that shoot when you shoot them. Oh, say that five times fast. It shoots out SMGs that shoot when you shoot them. It shoots out SMGs when you shoot when you... Uh, it's a lot harder than it looks, but right click shoots out a flurry of them. If you want to clear a whole room out in style, this is, a uh, this is your best bet right here. Just be careful that you don't get shot yourself. These are the ridiculous weapons I absolutely love, man. How can you get more crazy than this? Next up, we have the taser with, uh, with Alex, uh, giving us a very interesting expression indeed. Let's see exactly what this thing can do. All right, it zaps the hell out of Odessa. He has, uh, multiple convulsions. Comes back up, he's all good and dandy. Oh god, what? We could tase ourselves? This doesn't make any sense, and I'm not having a good time. The turret placer. I'm guessing we place turrets? Ah, yes. Now, why would I do that when I could just go into NPCs and, uh, just put a turret down? Oh, of course, it's on our side. So it should theoretically shoot the combine. And yes, indeed, it does. Although it has about the same accuracy as a goddamn stormtrooper, I can live with that. Next up, we have the... Uh... 
I cannot read that. <laughs> oh, it's uh, some sort of currency from a different country. But pressing left click, it explodes. If anyone is from this country, tell me, does it actually do that in real life? Right? <laughs> what the hell? It's playing some kind of a song. Um, I really don't want copyright strikes, but uh, pretty explosive, pretty effective. I need to get my hands on some of that cash. And we have another weapon in a language that unfortunately I do not understand. Let's take a look. Oh God. I feel like we're just gonna maul someone to death. We got some emperor style force electricity here. Okay. Let's see how powerful this is. Oh, damn. Right click. Wait, what the? <laughs> what is that? It's a receiver. And you can use it as like a makeshift bomb? All right. This is probably one of the most creative weapon packs I've seen in a while. So the creator's saying that this has useless weapons. Um, nah, man, this, this is pretty legit. I'm actually really digging this. And that was some handy sweeps for you guys to take a look at. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe. All the links will be down in the description as always. Leave a comment. My Discord is in the description. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, farewell.